So one of the questions that I get asked all the time is about what currency to take for tips. Um, and it, it does depend a little bit on where you're going, but you know, right now we're talking specifically about all inclusive resorts and we're talking, you know, Mexico, Caribbean, Dominican Republic, that kind of thing. General rule of thumb is it's always best to tip in the local currency. And that just means it's really easy for the person to take that cash at the end of the day. If they need to stop at the grocery store on the way home, they can use that cash in a transaction instantly. Whereas if you give them American money or Canadian money, chances are they're going to have to go to a local bank to get that exchanged before they're able to use those funds. So it makes it a little bit more complicated. Now, look, any tip is accepted and appreciated. So if that's all you've got, I mean, don't hesitate. But if we're just talking about what's going to simply be easiest, then obviously local currency is best. I tip to travel with some US $1 bills. I usually grab a whole bucket of those. Um, I obviously have Canadian money because I'll be coming in and out of Canadian airports. Um, and then if I'm going to Mexico, definitely I'll load up on a bunch of Mexican pesos as well. I order those in advance um, or purchase them at a currency exchange shop for the best uh, exchange. And whatever I don't use, I can take them back and sell them back to them. So I don't have to worry if I was a person who only went on a trip once a year and I had a hundred bucks left in pesos that I wasn't going to use, I could go and easily exchange those into back into Canadian dollars. If you are traveling to the Dominican, um, you know, Dominican pesos, that's great to use local currency, but holy Dinah, their exchange rate is complicated. Like the last time we were there, which was January of this year, I think the exchange rate was 40 to one compared to a Canadian dollar. Now I can figure that out pretty easily right now. And when I've got my phone available, um, cause I can use the calculator on there. But <laughs> if you've had a couple of cocktails, which you might do when you're in paradise, then if you decide to go gift shopping um, at the souvenir shop, trying to figure out how much you're spending back converted to your local currency, it's not so easy. So, you know, stick with what, whatever's gonna be easiest. Like I say, anything's appreciated. What US $1 bills are super easy. Um, Mexican pesos as well, you know, they go down to 20 pesos, which is about the equivalent of, of $1, depending on the exchange rate at the time. So remember, you know, whatever you can give, they will obviously be very appreciative, um, especially after this difficult year that everybody has had. Um, so do tip and tip, tip generously if you can, if you're able. And um, like I say, tip in local currency where possible. And if, if not, then, you know, US dollars is really easy to use. Remember, do not give coins because they can't do anything with those. The US and the Canadian coins, they cannot take them to the bank and get them converted. Um, they're basically like monopoly money. And also bear in mind that certain countries are stopping the recognition of certain denominations. So for example, uh, here in Canada, they will no longer be accepting the $2 American bill as legal tender. So if you've got some and you want to cash them out, get to a bank before the 31st of December. Um, so I hope this is helpful for you. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And we'll see you on the next one.